Look at the teeth on that guy. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today is the haul video. It's the haul video from the Pickers Paradise at Westbury Antique Mall. And I got some things outside and those are the things I'm going to show you first. And then I got some fun things on the inside of Westbury Antique Mall. So make sure that you do go check out Westbury Antique Mall in Bloomington, Indiana, if you are ever in the area. All right. The first thing that you had seen in the video, and the video was actually yesterday. Now, typically I'll put my haul videos at the end of the shop with me, but it was going to be too long. So now we're doing, we're doing a different, we're doing a dedicated haul video. And the majority of these records you had already seen in the video, and I will link the video down in the description below so you can go and check it out. But I was looking through them and I thought maybe they would say it was like a dollar a piece, but they ended up saying that it was $5 for all of them. So I did get these and they're just various children's records from the 60s. We've got Sleeping Beauty and Toby Tyler. This one I love, Bing Crosby's How Lovely is Christmas. So just several different children's records that I will be probably lotting and seeing, you know, sell them in a, in a live sale, which reminds me, all the things I'm going to be showing you today are available. You can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and I will let you know if it's something that I'm selling now or if I'm waiting for a live sale. So you can always send me a message and ask me if something is available. Now, I did get a couple things from the dollar area. One of the things I actually have listed on eBay, and that is the oil can. Um, I'll put a picture of it in here, right here, so you can see it. But um, it is listed on eBay right now, and it sells for about $35 or so. So it was a dollar. So that it's it was a great find to find something like that for a dollar. And I didn't really know what it was, and I still didn't I didn't look it up when I was there, but I just had a feeling because it had the old car on it, and I've I've bought and sold oil cans before. So I just went with my gut and um, it's listed on eBay right now. It's not sold yet, but it is listed on eBay. I did get this little plate for a dollar. Look at the little baby cupies. And Santa is going like that. This is Cupie. It's a commemorative edition. Uh, what is the date on here? M-C-M-L-X-X-I-I-I. -I, -I. I don't know. It's 1980 something, probably. Actually, did you say? Oh, it's 1973. 1973. It says right there on the front. I don't know. This is just a cute little Christmas with the cupies on it. And it was a dollar. And then I got this Stanley Commander. No, Stanley Commander brush. Now, I have sold some of these in the past, so I kind of knew that there is a market, a reselling market for these old brushes and I'll show them to you. It's still in the box, it's never been used. It has kind of this acrylic, kind of a tortoise shell uh, handle and it comes with the comb. Never been used, still in the box and these sell uh, for about $35 or so. So it was great for a dollar investment. So. Keep, be on the lookout for these brushes. And you would think that oh, nobody's going to want that, but there is a collector's market for them. All right, I think that's all that I... No, I did. I picked up a level for my husband on the dollar table too, and he has that at home. So that's all I got from the dollar table. All right, the rest of the things are also things that I did pick up from the vendors outside. And I did get the little Lefton Puda. She is made by Lefton she was $8. She's super cute. She doesn't have any cracks or flaws on her. And then I also picked up some owls. This is made out of some sort of resin and it was a dollar. And I think that this would be really great to use for a Halloween display. It's a little hooty hoot. He's, I like his little feet too. I like the feet on birds, but he's some sort of resin material. But he was a dollar and I think that he's cute and I think that he could be really incorporated really cool in a Halloween display. And I also got this guy. He was three dollars. Now he is, some of his cold paint is missing. He just kind of has a face that I couldn't resist. He's a little annoyed but he's saying that you need to be wise and you need to save your money and you can save your money in him. He is a bank. 
He doesn't have his stopper, but you can put a piece of felt on the bottom if you really wanted to use him as a bank again, but I just really like them. $3, I probably would have liked him a lot more at a dollar, like his buddy, but he's still pretty fun. Okay, I also picked up this uh, urn pot. I don't know if it originally had a lid or not. Um, it is marked USA on the bottom. It's giving me McCoy vibes. However, I'm not quite sure, but it was $2. And I just think that someone could definitely use this as a flower pot or put a plant in here. It's just got a really nice design and a really lovely color. So I thought that was a, that was a good price to pay for that. And then I got this. Now, this is cased glass. So it looks like there's two layers of this glass. It almost looks like you could just see the layers. And it was, it was $2. I love the color and it's hand painted with this bird design on here. So it's very much giving me some Asian vibes, but a little bit of Bohemian vibes as well. It has a, a sticker on the bottom. It, this was $2, by the way. But I can't make out what it says, but I really liked the color of it and I liked the subject matter. So a larger air plant or a succulent, I think would be nice in this guy. And then I got this little piggy for a dollar. Look at him. I think he's kind of giving me some Shawnee vibes. I'm not quite sure. I'm just doing this haul without fully looking this, these things up. But I like how he's got his little party ear up. He's got one party ear up and one, one ear down. And you can put your cream and just pour it out of his mouth. And he can bloop, bloop your cream. Cute. For a dollar? Yes, please. And then I got this guy. Now, I was looking at this guy and I put him down. And I picked him up and I put him down. And he originally has a sticker of $14 on him. And so the guy that I that had the booth, he said, okay, I do $8 for it. And I was like, I, I don't really know. I'm going to think about it. And he said, okay, $5. So I said, okay. So I paid $5 for this guy. He's very, he's giving me some 1980s. He is made out of wood and he's carved. He's a carved bird. I think he might be an owl. I think it is an owl. I'll read you what the card says. But he's pastel. He's just a lot of fun. He is a party. You are a party owl. The tag says that, um, it says, For the owl collector, an unusual owl that appears to be made of wood and certainly a tropical appearance and color. He's like Golden Girls fabulous, right? He's just fun. $5, I think it was a great price to pay for Mr. Owl. He's definitely a statement piece. All right, and then the last couple things that I bought from the outside vendors are really pretty neat. And now I did pay up for these. I paid $20 for the entire collection that I'm about to show you. The first thing is these spec butterfly specimens. These are actual insects that were encased, you know, in this little lucite box. So they're butterflies. So this was the first one. Now this one has, there's a little spot that has like a little bit of a wing, but I'm, I don't, I can't even tell you where it's coming from. I don't really like bugs, so I don't really like looking at it too much, but and then there are several of these domed uh, display cases here, and they're all preserved in there. Look at that iridescence on that one. That one might be a moth. So we've got this one, and then the bigger size one here. Ooh, that's really iridescent in there. But they are in a domed casing. So there's those two big ones. And then we have these smaller ones. So there's that one. This one has a little bit of damage on his wing. And then this one. And then the Monarch. But they were made in Brazil. Made in Brazil. Uh, I just thought that they were really nice. So it's like an instant collection if somebody, you know, needed these for their collection. But they're very cool, right? They have their hangers on them. And so you could hang them in a little display on your wall. And then this guy just kind of sits on a shelf. So I did pay up for them. But I thought that they were pretty cool. And I think somebody might really like them. I'm a little nervous to ship them. I'm not going to lie. 
because they are very delicate and like you don't want them to you know be jostled around so i don't know these are maybe things that i might keep for the pop-up to sell here locally when i do have my pop-up shop that i'm not quite sure but i just couldn't resist them and i and they have them marked for five dollars each and i made them a bundle deal and they, they they accepted it so it never hurts to make a little bundle deal all right i'm going to move these things out of the way and i'm going to set up the other things that i got in the inside of the antique mall so let me clean up this area a little bit and i'll be right back all right i have everything set up here for the items that i purchased from the inside of the antique mall and everything that i'm going to show you i spent 224 dollars on so i i mean I, I i spent some money that day i think i i want to say i spent I think $60 outside. So I had that $100 cash in my pocket and I didn't spend all of the cash. So I, that was on the outside. Um, one thing that I kind of had sitting over here that I didn't show you that I got outside was this mug. And it is a handleless coffee mug. It was a dollar. There's a tag on the inside. And looking at it, it's Felix Tiso. I think that's what it is. I'll try to put the, the comps right there. And this is a Mexican pottery, and it has all of these animals on it. There is a weasel and a sunflower and some sort of a, what are you? A bird of some sort. Um, these actually are worth a little bit of money. So it's in excellent condition. It is signed on the bottom. And so it was a dollar. So that was a really good, that was an instance where I went with my gut. I went with my gut. I knew Mexican pottery was, you know, a pretty popular thing right now. I knew that it was hand painted. It was signed. I just had a gut feeling about it. And this will be listed on eBay here very soon. So hopefully that gut feeling will pay off. All right. So again, all the things that I'm going to be showing you, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. And I'll let you know if it is still available or if I'm saving it for a live sale. All right. I think there's only two things that I'm keeping? Well, three things. I'm keeping three things, but one of them, I bought myself a necklace. I did. This is a piece of jade that was twisted around this silver coil. And it's on a sterling chain, and I just really loved it. I love jade, and I love jadeite. So I got this for myself. And I think it was only like maybe $10. So it was really pretty. I liked it. That's for me. I also bought this. Now, when I show you this, you're going to be like, yeah, that looks like something Misty would buy. And it's a little dinosaur planter. It's a plastic dinosaur. And he's got a little faux airplane in him. Look at that. He's so fun. I, well, first of all, I was drawn to the color more than anything. But I love that he has a little airplane in him. And he's got teeth. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the teeth on that guy. He has practices good oral hygiene to have those chompers on him. So I am keeping him. And then this. And I'm going to keep this in my car. It was so hot that day. It was about 100 degrees. I was dying. I was hot. I had to carry all this stuff with me. I didn't bring my flea market cart. So I bought myself a fan. And I will, I can use this at auctions. I can use this if I go to a flea market and it's so hot. It's a sparkly little fan. I think it was a couple dollars. I And I just, I don't know, I got it. And I'm keeping that. And I'll put it in the glove box of my car and I'll be prepared. I also got this little fan for $2.50. And I want to say that this was 30% off. But it is a little silk fan with this little fish on it. And although, I mean, this is, this is a good fan for like when you're kind of hot. That fan will cool you down if you're really hot. But it's on this little, I think it's a bamboo handle. And it is silk and it's hand painted. I don't know. I just really liked it. I was drawn to it because of the motif that was on it with a little fish. Even though I don't like fish, but I, I like that fan. Oh, and I'm not keeping this one. So this one is for sale. But the other one I am keeping. Now everything else I'm going to show you is available for purchase. Or will be. Um, and I, I'll get these two out of the way. I found these two Belgium uh, domed glass canisters. When I see these, I buy them. They are made in Belgium. They are both marked on the bottom in this beautiful 
blue. These are pretty collectible. People really do like these to add to their decor. And there's something that's a functional piece that people can use. They can store things in here. So I got those. And then I found one of these. Now, not too long ago, I had a mug just like this. And I had actually had two of them and they were hippos. They were house hippos. But this is a house elephant. Look how cute he is. He's just a little nugget. He's got his little polka dots. I, I was so shocked when I found him. Now, I can't remember. I'll have to look him up. I can't remember who he is or who, who made these, but it is a stoneware mug, and it's just so stinking cute. You put a little air plant in there. He's got little polka dots on his handle. Ah, I was so happy to find that. It was really, really pretty cute. I did get a couple pieces of Tanala. I did get the Tanala fish. And the little Tanala duck. And I just love this little guy. He's so cute. Now, he does have a little bit of wear on his beak and on his back. He is marked Mexico. And he has his artist's initials right there. Oh, what? Is that a K-E? No. It says an E-R. I thought it was a K-E, which would be Ken Edwards, which are the ones that I really like. This one's just stamped. This one is stamped Mexico. On the bottom it is not artist signed but it is a fish and it's a nice size all right and then i got these guys these are tiki salt and pepper shakers and i do pretty well with tiki items they are made in japan here they are they're so handsome aren't they tiki tiki guys they're made in japan they have their sticker on the bottom on on their backs they get a tattoo that they are from florida they're Florida tiki gods. They both have their stoppers. Just really fun. They're not treasure craft. They, they're they more of a stoneware. Um, not as highly glazed and stuff as a treasure craft would be on those guys. I also got, I got this angel. And I also got this angel. But I sold her yesterday. So she has been sold. She did have a little chip on her wing and underneath her body. But you can't couldn't really tell. And then I did get the August pal. And I just love, she's got her little suitcase. She's ready to go on a trip. I am ready to go. I got my tennis racket and I'm got my hands on my hip and I'm ready to go. She's in great condition too. She is made in Japan. A little August pal. And then I got Honey Badger. Honey Badger don't care. Now, I think that we I've determined that this was a skunk, but to me it reminds me of the Honey Badger. Honey Badger does what he wants. Do y'all remember that? You probably don't, but I do. And it was one of my favorite things. Honey Badger just does what he wants. But he's a little shaker. He's got a little hole back there. But he doesn't have his partner. But I think that you're a skunk. But you're cute. I couldn't resist you. Now, I did get some skunks. I got this little guy. He's a single shaker, but he's a cute little guy. Isn't he cute? I'm cute. And this skunk... This skunk is the one that's been haunting me every time I go in there and I see him. And I'm like, I don't know. But I just decided that the day that I was in there was the day that I was going to purchase this little Napco skunk. He's so happy because he is so lucky. I am lucky. There's a fly in here. He is lucky the squirrel. No, you're not a squirrel. You're a skunk. And he's so cute. So the day that I went in there was the day that... He went in my cart. I don't think I got any more skunks, but I did get some turtles. I just liked these. They, I love the glaze on them and their little faces. Well, they're little turtles. They're little redware turtles. Look at their little faces. They get this highly glazed, kind of a drip glaze with the gold accents on them. They just are fun, sweet little. Now, his his um, stopper's floating around in there, but this guy has his stopper. They kind of look like sea turtles to me because of the way that their feet are shaped, but they're brown. I don't know. I just, I just, I liked them. And sometimes we get drawn towards something. You can't help it. You just can't help it. These are very reminiscent. I probably should have showed these after I showed the elephant mug, but they look like they might be from the same potter or the same company. They're a little pig salt and pepper shakers. They do have their stoppers. They don't have a maker. Oh, you know what they do? They're made in Japan. 
What does this say? Brins. These are Brins. The Brins pigs, little stoneware pigs. They've got these nice little handles on them, but look at their sweet little face. He's so cute. I like those little pigs. I also got these little bird shakers. I got a lot of shakers that day. There's a fly in here and it's just driving me nuts. Um, these are made in Japan, but they're happy little, I don't know what these are, parrots? Look at how happy he is. He's so happy. Sometimes things just really evoke a feeling. And these just, I thought, were just so sweet. Little parrot babies. They don't have their stoppers. Actually, you know what? He does. This one is marked Japan. He doesn't have his stopper. But really, just to set them on a shelf, they're happy birds. So happy. Did I get any other birds? Yes, I did. Ooh, I got this bird. This is a good bird. He doesn't have any markings on the bottom, but he is the little cardinal. He's an Amberina cardinal, and he has cadmium in him. So his, the, the orange parts on his head and on his tail glow, and on his beak. So he has cadmium in him, so he does glow. He has no maker's mark on him, but he doesn't have any, any issues on his tail, on the little tip of his head, or on his beak. So you're a good bird. That was a good bird to find. The rest, I mean, I got all like people and critters, pretty much, that's what I got left. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the dogs. I did get this little Rose Lane dog. I love Rose Lane, even though it's like bisky, but look at this little hound dog with the amber rhinestone eyes. Oh, he's so cute. It is a little Rose Lane dog. I love Rose Lane. Love, love, love it. And then I got these guys. These were the little bone china. What are you? Like little shaggy dogs. So here is the mama or the daddy. And then we've got the two. We've got the, we got the teenager and then the little baby. They're so cute. Little bone china shaggy dogs i don't know what kind of dog that is but it's a breed specific dog which i really kind of like to buy i'm not sure what kind of dog that is I, you guys can let me know what kind of dog do you think what kind of dog is this i know shaggy dog is not like the technical term for it but all right that's all no i got a dog pen wiener dog isn't he cute He's got amber rhinestones, and then he's got a black rhinestones on his color, and then a little black rhinestone eye. Super cute. He also has a little loop right there. So I don't know if you could maybe make wear him as a necklace, too. He'd just kind of hang like that. But see, he's got that little loop there. Um, and he just has the little uh, folded, I don't know what the technical turn is, but it's not a lobster claw clasp. Just has that little slip clasp, I guess you could say. Okay, and then I got this poodle pin. I think this was in the video. It has the same little loop and it has the same little clasp, but it is this sparkly poodle. You know, you just can't resist a good poodle when you see it. This one's fancy. I love the iridescent stones. It has the little loop there and the little clasp. That's, that's bringing some bling. You're a blingy poodle. Now that is all the dogs, but I will show you this other brooch that I purchased. It, it sparked my interest. I have to get this off, but it's a lion brooch. And he's reticulated. Look at that. See his body just kind of swings around. And then his little hands, or his little paws, they just kind of swing around too. So his pin part is right there. So you'd wear them like that, and then the rest of his body just kind of dangles. That's different, right? No, no mark on him. He does have a lobster claw clasp, but he has green rhinestone eyes. He's really pretty cute, but just kind of flops around there. It just interested me, so I thought I would give him a try. All right, and then I got this little guy. Oh my gosh, this is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, it's a little beaver. It's a little Justin Bieber. Or beaver. Justin Bieber. 
Look at how cute he is. He's got a little stick in his hand, his little beaver tail. Oh my gosh, look at that face. He's so cute. He's just so little. Ugh, I just like those little things. And then I did, I've been finding these a lot lately, and I sell them, and it's a little squirrel. He's got something green. Like, he's got some kind of, like, someone put Tiki Tack or something on his bottom to make him stay on a shelf. Maybe you were being a little little uh, sneaky squirrel, and you were trying to fall off your shelf all the time. He's got his little acorn in his hand, his little fluffy tail. Super cute little guy. Oh, he's got, like, sparkles in his eyes. Twinkly-eyed squirrel and then the rest of the animals i got were cats mostly black cats i these are redware now these are made by uh novco japan that's what the tag says they've got some creepy faces on them but i love them look at these guys look at them aren't don't they look like they're up to something they are definitely up to something. But they there is the tag on the bottom. They are redware. They this one has its stopper, that one doesn't. But the cold paint on them is really really nice. There's just a couple little areas where it's coming off a little bit, but I just love their faces. So I got those. And then I got this cat family. Now this is a blended family. It's a blended family of cats. They were all sold together. I love the mama. Here is the big mama. She is also red wear. She's a nice size too. And she's got green jeweled eyes. So I think she would be really fun to put with your Halloween displays. Or, you know, like a black cat doesn't have to be only Halloween. But she came with some babies that are also red wear. But I don't think that they originally came, went with her. But we've got this baby here. He's got some heavy cold painted eyes. And then we've got the littlest baby here. But they're all three redware. This one that has yellow eyes. They're all in really nice condition. They were sold together. And then I got these two cats. And oh my goodness, these are so fun. They are luster wear, green luster, long neck cats. They look like they've just gotten into the catnip or maybe they've scratched something that they shouldn't have they look mischievous and fun they're so lustery they do not have their stoppers in them they are both marked japan on the bottom but oh my gosh they're spectacular aren't these fun look at those faces and those eyes huh what nope we didn't do it we didn't do it but they did do it they're naughty all right, and the last two things that I got from Westbury Antique Mall were humans. Humans. And I got this little guy, and he's a little piano baby. He's made by Norcrest. Look at him. I am so cute. Yes, I am. I look at his little hands. All of his little fingers are there. He's in great condition. He has his Norcrest stamp on the bottom. So cute little baby and then i did get the baby head vase i've sold this one before in a different color i think that it was more like a seafoam green color was the one that i'd had before i did double check all of the little rosettes they're all intact and in great condition it is a head vase there's no markings on the bottom but i'm my i'm going to say that she was made in japan she's just so sweet a little baby in blue so I, I got her as well. And I think that this booth was, was having a sale. With the, that was, you know, that was really what I was looking for. I was walking around because I wasn't at that antique mall very long ago when I went in there that day. And so I was mainly looking for booths that were having a sale. And I thought that it would be because of the event that was going on outside. And I wasn't wrong. There were a lot of booths that were having a sale. So I got some really good things that day at the Westbury Antique Mall. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. I will link the shop with me down in the description below so you can go back and watch that if you would like to. I would appreciate it if you did. Let me know what kind of dog you think this is. And if you are not subscribed, I would appreciate you being subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment.
Bye guys. <laughs>